If you lose a game, it's important to understand why. And those whys can turn things into W's in the future. Ohio football is very aware why they lost 30 to 27 at Central Michigan in the season opener this past Wednesday. And working on the whys can lead to wins starting on Tuesday and beyond. The home opener's Tuesday. Ohio takes on the Akron Zips. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats, and our game preview is presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Some of the whys. Well, Ohio had two turnovers against the Chippewas, had 11 penalties for 74 yards, and some negated big plays that could have set up more points on the board. Speaking of points, Ohio missed an extra point and missed a field goal that was taken off the board because of penalty. So a lot of these are intertwined. They affected all other facets of the game. The Chippewas had the ball for about nine minutes longer than Ohio did, and they ran 30 more plays, 88 to 58. Play count is important. Time of possession can be overrated, but it wasn't against CMU. Keep in mind here, Ohio only lost by three. So through this, Ohio still had a chance to win the game. That's a good sign for things to come. So Ohio only lost by three. They got to fix these issues, and they certainly can moving forward. And that's a good sign for the home opener on Tuesday against a team that is really struggling. Akron's lost 18 in a row. That's the longest losing streak in the country after going 0-12 last year. They're dealing with issues with injuries as Cato Nelson is still recovering from shoulder surgery at quarterback. So it's redshirt freshman Zach Gibson. Gibson threw for 125 yards, a touchdown and an interception, and their loss in their opener to Western Michigan. They fell to the Broncos 58-13. to Defensively, redshirt junior linebacker Bubba Arslanian can slay ball carriers. He had 125 tackles last year. He had 11 in the loss to Western Michigan. And if Ohio has the precision that they played with at InfoCision last year, it's all going to be painted green and white. Ohio won the game 52 to 3 and outgained the so 3 to 74. Now those numbers going to be hard to replicate, but if Ohio's anywhere close to that, it's going to be a one and one start to this season. So all of those Ys could lead to another W against the Zips, and we'll be there to call it for you. Our coverage on the Ohio Sports Network from Learfield IMG College starts at 6 with the kick at 7 as Rob Cornelius, Steve Goldberg, and I have the Cats and the Zips for you. It's also on the CBS Sports Network. That's our game preview presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. For Zach Roberts, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Cats and Zips. This is Bobcat TV.